Did he, when did he come here? Well, he, is, he and his fiancée intended to participate in a poker tournament, mm -hmm. and they were also just visiting Dublin City. And for how long did they intend to stay? Uh, it was a 10-day stay. Okay, and they checked into the hotel on what day? Uh, they checked into, he checked into the hotel on Friday. Yes. And she came, no, Thursday. No, Friday. 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 Yeah. And he came on, she came on Saturday. Okay, and what day was the last day he was seen? The last day was uh, around 11 a.m. on Saturday. Okay, and what do we know about where he was at this point? The hotel he was staying in was the... The Bunnington Hotel okay. in north of Dublin. And he was staying in that hotel when he left, and do we know, did he have his passport? No, he didn't have anything. He, did, he left his wallet and his passport and his phone. So you don't know if he had any cash of any sort in his... Uh, not that we know of. Okay. Could, yeah. So you're counting on things like CCTV to see where his last movements were, is that right? Yeah. Okay, so what do we know about his last movements? Uh, well, we know he's seen leaving the hotel, and then the last footage of CCTV is up north of the Schwartz Road, yeah. passing the Highfield Hospital. Okay, and David, this is the area, the map we're looking at here that gives us an idea. Yes, of, correct. Of uh, where. He exits the hotel, walks to the right, and up north through, up Swartz Road, and is last seen in the Highfield area. Is this completely, you're his brother, so you know more than anyone else, is, is this completely out of character for Jan? <sighs> yes, this is completely out of character. Uh, he has no history of physical or mental problems. Right. Uh, he is a father, a brother, a son. He is the oldest of uh, five siblings, and he has always been there for his family and his loved ones. So he is the rock of the family. He has uh, obviously a big family. How many children has he got? He has uh, two children with his, uh, two children and two stepchildren. Two stepchildren. Yeah, which he loves very dear. Of course, well. of yeah. course. And then he's, he's, you now have a situation where in Iceland, which is a very small population of, mm. what, about 300? 360,000, roughly, okay. yeah. Uh, and it's, this is a big news story in Iceland. Everyone yeah, is... I mean, it's a small community, and uh, when people go missing, it's very rare that this happens. And when people go missing, it's a, it's a big shock to the community. So something like this happening, is, it's, it doesn't happen often. So, the, yeah, this has got a lot of coverage. We even have... A, a team from the biggest uh, news channel in Iceland following us around in Dublin and, and yeah, and keeping track on how, how we are doing. So who's, in, who's from your family is in Dublin at the moment looking for your brother? Uh, all of his siblings are here uh, with our spouses and such, his mother, uh, fiancé, uh, friends of the family. He is, uh, he's, he's a lot of close and good friends. So we have been here for almost uh, two weeks now since his disappearance. Mm. What can you do? I mean, it's, it, it, you've got very little to go on. Mm -hmm. It's not the biggest city in Europe, so you would hope that there'd be some hope to find him. I mean, how much can you do in a given day to, to, to search? So basically, uh, we started to organize a big search with the help of SAR specialists back from uh, Iceland. Uh, See, that's sea and air rescue? Yeah, search and rescue. Search and yeah, rescue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we mapped uh, the city down to search areas where we just went off uh, in groups focused on talking to people, hanging up posters and getting the word out. That talking to taxi drivers, yeah. Yeah, going to gardens, everywhere, What's everywhere you can think of. And tomorrow you have a big search, is that right? Yes, uh, with the help of uh, local volunteers from Dublin, uh, we are organizing a big, big search and we are expecting a, a large amount of people to come and help us find our brother. Yeah. Uh, Yes, I mean, we have had a lot of help from the, from the people of Dublin, and especially a couple of families who have been there for us the, the whole way, and basically their, the love, the help, and everything they have given us, as I have no words, okay. to be honest. It's been overwhelming. So okay. I, and it's because of them, the, this big search tomorrow, it's because of them that makes this all possible. Okay. So, yeah. Well, look, we can only wish you the very best luck in your search. It's a desperate situation for any family to be in, so hopefully you get yeah. a positive result and you find your Thank brother. You. And I would like to appeal to the people of Dublin uh, to, just to keep an eye out, and if you have any information, please come forward, because we only need a one clue and that'll do. to find our brother. That'll do. Here's hoping. Well, look, mind yourselves, and good yeah. luck in the search. And thank you for coming in to share your story. We'll see. Thank hopefully you. we'll see if we can. Okay. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right, and anyone, anyone who has seen Jan or who can assist in locating him is asked to contact Ballymun Gardaí. The Garda Confidential telephone line is 1800 666 or indeed any Garda station would help.